So hello, welcome back to Krefeld. Uh, this is an uh, interview after the game uh, where Ege University from Turkey uh, faced Molde from Norway and Molde won three goals with uh, Ege University zero goals. I'm here with uh, Ever Suvik and Mr. Ekin Koch. First of all, Evan, uh, congratulations for the fin. Uh, you are one of the younger players in the Molde squad. How does it feel to play with these older big guys? Do you do you think that you can keep up with the quality? Yeah, I've played with them since I was about 11. So I'm pretty used to the tempo and uh, the play. And uh, in a couple of years I might be able to do contribute more than I'm doing now. Okay. Um before the game, before you came here in Krefeld, uh you you knew Ege University is not going to be an easy opponent. What had you planned before coming to this game? Uh, I knew they weren't going to be easy and uh, I left the planning more to be uh, too bored and eager to sort of plan the strategy and so it worked pretty well in this match. Okay, uh, it's great to see you back here, Turkey's team in the Euro uh, Euroleague uh, what kind of preparations do, did you do before coming here to Krefeld? How did you train together and so forth? Uh, we are also happy to be here in the Euroleague. It's a nice competition. And uh, we did our trainings like three days in a week. Um, the pool training, rugby training. And uh, most of us are doing individual trainings like uh, Olympic lifting, CrossFit, functional functional trainings, and uh, we are still trying to improve ourselves, uh, both in the game and in, in the physical. Right. May I ever ever may I ask that uh, how much do you train generally in Molde? Uh, about nine sessions in one week, and, and then that would be uh, three rugby sessions three strength training sessions and uh, conditioning. Okay. Uh, what do you think that, where do you need to improve in order to, to, to uh, challenge Molde uh, in the future? What do you think? Uh, I think Molde has uh, big guys and they have big sizes and uh, their ball control is very good so it's hard to take away the ball from them. So. We need uh, ourselves improve our ourselves on the uh, opponent basket because it's really hard to get in there because there are so many sized guys. Uh, it's really hard to find a way to be around the basket. So if we could reach the basket more and more, and if I'm sure um, we are going to score. Of course, today we had uh, chances to score, but. Also, they are good at finishing, better than us, actually. That was actually something that I thought before the game that would decide decide this game. Who who gets the you know more high quality uh, attempts? Okay, uh, what are you gonna do before the next matches then, Ever? Uh, now we now we either going to go back to the hotel or we're gonna stay here and watch some games, and then of course just relax and eat a lot of food and. Yeah. Okay, how about the Turkish team? What are you going to do now? Yeah, this this leg is a bit hard for us because the the strongest we are playing with the strongest team in the EuroLeague in this leg, all of them like Molde, Beta and uh, Malsh. Uh, so it has to be full of resting, full of uh, eating and uh, um, mostly we are going to um, rest and going to the hotel. Yeah, I'm sure you can challenge any team here. You played so well, although Moldena was a stronger team with three goals. Uh, well done, boys, and all the best for in the future.